Don't we? He's trying to touch all our sexiness. You need to get up off me. Hurry up. He all up on me? I know I'm fine, but dang. You want me to get over there? Mom, don't come over here. I want to rub up on your sexiness. Can't keep the ladies off me. They shame, shame. Get off me, ladies. I hear the lady screaming my name. Shame, shame. Don't love me like you do. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Brittany, AKA Fine Apple Vegan. And today we gonna make some bread fix tacos using the Just Egg. I know I'm late to the party. I'm gonna use it in some breakfast tacos. I was gonna try it on its own, but I felt like that was gonna be boring. And this is my first time using it, so bear with me. It'll be trial and error with you guys. If it works out cool, if it doesn't, you'll know my real response, <laughs> okay? Well, let's get into the Just Egg real quick. I wanna tell you a little bit about it. So it is non-GMO, egg-free, dairy-free, cholesterol-free. It is a plant-based scramble. So it is basically made of mung beans. It's like a um, protein isolate. It's supposed to be really good, so yeah. And it does have soy in it. It says shake well, cook thoroughly. So we're gonna play around with it today. But let me go ahead and tell you what I am using for my breakfast tacos. Grape seed oil. You can use vegan butter or you can use no oil if you want. I kinda want it to be cooked really well, especially since I'm gonna be sauteing some veggies with it. So I'm using grape seed oil. And then I have my tortillas on hand. These are vegan tortillas. I actually love this brand. Really good, I get it from my local grocery store. We're gonna be using soy rizo which is a soy chorizo. It's supposed to be really, 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 really bomb and scrambles, but it's good on its own. That's why we won't be using any salt as far as ingredients goes. Green and red bell pepper, white champ, finely diced. I have some minced garlic, and I have some diced tiny onions. And this is just a regular yellow onion. And then I have some dried chives, and some vegan cheese, only a little bit. This is the um, Aldi vegan mozzarella. I love this cheese so much, and it's so cheap. And then also this guacamole salsa, I love this. And this comes in handy when I don't wanna make my own. I love it so much, it has a perfect amount of spice. So you can use this or regular salsa, it's really up to you. Cracked black pepper, of course, and then just some onion powder and garlic powder. That's all, so let's get started. So my pan has been heating through, so it's already hot, and I'm just gonna put a little bit of oil in there. Drizzle it in there however much you want. I'm pretty sure I'll probably put too much. That's okay. It's my show, it's my fault. I can do whatever I want. <laughs> so first I'm gonna add the garlic. I'm gonna go ahead and add in the onions as well. And my peppers. So just mix those veggies around just for a little bit, maybe about two minutes until it becomes really fragrant. Okay, so it's cooked through pretty good and it's becoming really fragrant. So now I'm gonna add my sorizo. And you can add however much you want. I really didn't measure this. I just pulled out however much I wanted. And we're just gonna cook that through. I'm excited to try this because before going vegan, I actually loved um, eggs. You know, before I actually thought about what I was eating. I was reading something today where another vegan account I follow on Instagram, they basically posted and they were like, when Facebook reminds me of my life before veganism, seeing pictures of the food they used to eat and stuff like that. And I just had to laugh because I go through that a lot. I look back and see what I used to eat and I'm like, <laughs> what kind of monster was I? eating all that stuff, not thinking about it. Man, I cannot imagine eating half of that stuff now. And now I'm gonna add in my spices. Well, powders, cause it's just onion powder and garlic powder. Pepper, um, I'm just putting in however much I want. 
It's not really a recipe. We're just trying to stuff out together, honestly. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is kind of spread the mixture apart. Cause I'm gonna pour my egg in and we're gonna make the scramble, but I wanna make sure there's space in between so that the egg can go in the cracks. So it said shake well. So I'm gonna shake it up really good. I don't know how much I wanna pour in there. I'm just gonna pour it in here. Okay, I'm gonna add more cracked black pepper to the top. And so what I read is that it's better to just kind of let it do its own thing for a little while, but I'm gonna scrape down the sides before I cover it up. Okay, so I'm gonna cover it up and let it kind of steam cook a little bit because I want it to cook through really well. So while we wait in, I have a story time that I wanna tell y'all. It's a true story. It's my only story. My husband. So, I was like, I was like trying to be a good person and like a good wife. <laughs> Stop laughing. So, I was trying to be a good wife. Why are you doing that? They not gonna believe me. Continue. So I was trying to be a good wife <laughs> and do something nice for my husband, right? I'm not even gonna tell y'all because she acting like I'm lying or something. Let's check on these eggs. So I'm just gonna kind of move it around, kind of like I would be doing the actual scramble. And I'm gonna cover it up again, but I just wanna move it around. Y'all, this, this, this acting like eggs, bro. I don't know. It's kind of acting like eggs, bro. And I'm actually gonna add more egg. So I'm gonna push this part to the side and add more egg to the center. Cover back up. And I'm probably gonna leave this covered for about four or five minutes, okay? Cause it's actually taking a little bit of time, but that's okay. Okay, I'll be back. Head down, put it on the head down, baby. <laughs> Y'all, so this is off topic, but I know I'm not the only one who did this as a kid. You know how like you used to sneak and watch stuff and you had no business? Cause I was like thinking, when it comes to my kids and certain things that they watch, I'm very restrictive. So I was just sitting there thinking, and me and my husband were talking, and we used to know songs that we had no business knowing. We watched movies and shows that we had no business watching. Hell no. Like, the E.T. Uncut and After Dark. Because like the song I was just thinking was like, live on his hand, bang, 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 bang. I didn't say all the words because it has to be censored, but if you know that tone and what I was saying, you know what song I'm talking about. And the fact that everybody like my age, we all had the same childhood. We didn't have social media. We didn't have internet like that. Like, But how do we all have the same childhood? How do we all do the same things and hang out in the same places? Like, you know the little, I guess it's like a power box, the big old green. And we all used to like hang out on that at the park. Like we would just sit on it and just chill. We didn't have cell phones and stuff. So how did you know where all your friends were? Whoever house that had all the bikes in the yard. Oh, that's where they at. Let's go hang out. Like that's, that's how we knew where our friends were. Like that's crazy to me. But that's, that's for another video. Let me check back on these eggs. Oh, it's all bubbly. This looks like eggs. This looks like a big old meaty scramble, but it's not. No cruelty, no dead bodies. Long live the animals. Cancer free, diabetes free, Alzheimer's free, fibroid free. Okay, so this is basically done. So what I'm gonna do now is put my cheese in and my dry chives and mix all that through there. Ooh, that's pretty. That is pretty. So what we're gonna do now is remove it from the heat because I wanna warm up my tortillas. 
I like to keep, use my hands versus um, like tongs or anything because I can sense how hot it is. Ooh, yes. Take it off. Next. Thank you. Next, next, thank you. Next, bacon eggs. Bacon eggs. That's what it sounds like she's saying, bacon eggs. Vegan bacon eggs. Okay, so now let's build our tacos. Pretty basic. Look at this mixture, y'all. Oh, it looks so good. Mmm. I hope it's good because I made a lot. Add whatever salsa that you want, your preference. I'm just gonna add a little bit. And now time for our avocado salsa. You don't have to add both salsas, but I did only put a tiny bit of the regular salsa in there. Really wanted the avocado salsa big time. All right, you guys, so it's all plated and ready for us to try. It's so bomb, look. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see if it's focused or not, but it's so good. Mm. Just Egg is the truth. I give it a 100% stamp of approval. It's so good, y'all. Definitely overpriced. We got it on sale for $6, but I was told that it, it gets up to like $10. Not practical, not good. You know, if you have a big family and you wanna feed them this, I will only ever buy this again if it goes on sale. This is not something I would have all the time. I do have a really good tofu chickpea scramble that I make often and my family loves it. This kind of reminds me of it, but it's more affordable and it's cheaper, but this is definitely good. I definitely recommend it. If you got the coins, by all means, get you some, but definitely good. And I want to finish this real quick. Try this, baby, it's good. Try one. <laughs> It's good, ain't it? It's good. <laughs> it's really good. Mm-hmm. Told you. You what, can take it. What breakfast top for you? Which one can I Which one can I Hold on. Wait, can I try it off camera? Huh? Can I try it off camera? Off camera? Why? Let me make your own one. Mm. It's good. Oh my like. God. <laughs> oh my God. That's good. You like it? How you hold it? You like it? It's good. <laughs> Do y'all recommend the just egg? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I accumulated it tomorrow for breakfast. <laughs> yeah, actually, we have some left. So, if this helped you guys, definitely check them out. Get you some. I recommend waiting for it to go on sale though, because it is overpriced. <coughs> so, in wrapping this video up with me and part of my family, Jace is probably somewhere on his one of his electronic devices. He's playing Roblox. He's playing Roblox. So, that's an obsession of theirs, but mainly him. But if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you good. haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and click that little notification button so you will be notified whenever I upload videos. What about me? What if I want to upload a video? So you'll be notified if we upload any video. That's what I'm talking about. They want to see me. Don't be leaving. Don't be leaving little comments. Under under videos that got him in there. Don't be making look googly eyes. <laughs> I don't know if y'all was doing something behind me. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Anyway, <laughs> yes, you guys, but thank you so much for watching this video and check it out. It's good. It's definitely good and kind of worth the price. A little, no, not really worth the price, but it's really good. And 
I would say give it a try and make your own opinion. Hey, Jace. We're not doing anything. What are you doing? We're not doing nothing. Oh, yeah. Jace, aka Little Cheesecake. Dab. <laughs> <laughs> Me, Dab. But thanks, you guys. Until next time, see you later. Ooh, I want, I want some. Ooh, some. Ooh. Y'all want some more? Uh huh. <laughs>